Yeah. We will find out who takes round one in three, two, one. Let's Match start. Go. UW with that super capacitor right out the gate into their resupply zone. And their sentry moving. It looks like the sentry is meandering over to the wall, not quite in their resupply zone, but close to it. And UW ramming the wall as well. NUS taking shots at the sentry. The sentry not spinning. Sentry's taking a little bit of damage on air UW But side. the sentry firing back at NUS, being able to defend itself. And th there's a firefight going with the, with the standard and the other sentry. You can see the NUS sentry firing at that UW standard, that UW standard trying to fire back and into the teeth of the oh, NUS hero and first taking blood. it down. UW takes first blood against that hero and they need to now go destroy that sentry. The UW standard coming in clutch right there, taking down the NUS hero, getting that critical first blood and leveling up to level eight already. The standard from NUS though, level 10. The NUS sentry now attacking the UW sentry. It looks like it is a sentry on sentry fight. Oh, and the standard and the blue standard destroys that rate of fire from NUS just deleting the UW sentry off the oh map. Oh my gosh. But UW now taking shot. No, that is in US no, taking that's shots hit against UW. 500 HP from halfway across the field. And now oh UW gosh. trying to chew through the shield of in US. They're but close. only 250 health left on the UW base. <sighs> this will be this a base matches. race. It's a Both base race. Base is open. UW chunking through. One more shot. One more shot. Both they do not have enough. Through. Both teams are out of ammo. Zero shots to destroy the other's base, but Air UW has no ammo left, and the hero the US has no ammo left. Both teams are out of ammo and out of gold. They need to do a base race. This is this is so close. Two two shots on both sides from the hero could destroy the other team's base. And UW with the super capacitors may be able to get across the map first. We will have to see in US trying to body block that hero. Oh. Seven shots loaded into the hero for UW. Three shots loaded into oh my the gosh. hopper for NUS. Oh my gosh. But NUS and we were able to take round one. Oh my gosh. In a very close oh my fighter of a match. That came down oh. to the last minute. NUS going crazy in the arena. NUS echoing out. Look at that, 3,100 damage to 2,700 damage. Only two okay. enemy kills on NUS's side, one enemy kill on UW's side. That they didn't even worry about the robots. They just went straight <laughs> for the base. Straight for the base. That was so close. That was so close. And look at the visualizes for round one in this best of three. Three, three two, two, one. one. And we're off. UW Standard and Hero out the gate already. NUS just lagging a tiny bit behind, but not far. UW able to purchase those projectiles, notably faster than last time. NUS keeping pace. A different split of the gold there. NUS, their standard not move, or their sentry, excuse me, not moving. That's really unfortunate for them. It performed quite well in round zero. UW Sentry, on the other hand, is moving and is spinning, but not moving out of its base zone. UW Standard 4 going to go ahead and take a bunch of shots at that sentry that's just moved standing there uh, and do up to 340 damage now left on that sentry for NUS. UW with a pretty good lead at the start of this match, only about 40 seconds in. Playing one robot down is going to be incredibly difficult for NUS. Unfortunately, a five robot game now. Their sentry not moving, their sentry not firing. I'm not sure what changed in between those two rounds, but yeah, tragic for NUS. Very tragic for NUS. A stroke of fortune for UW though, as they're able to take the sentry down early with their standard. The gold comes across at that four minute mark. Both teams retreat to spend it, purchasing projectiles for each robot. We got a chance coming in for the crowd as UW lines up their hero shots. Starts doing massive damage towards the base. The hero of the University of Washington choose through NUS's base. He has eight projectiles left. This should be the end. This is a hit one more time. Gets knocked out before he can. He hit one more, but it only counted as a standard projectile. NUS fighting back. The University of Washington, though, so close to winning with three minutes left to go. It's going to be very difficult for NUS to claw this one back. 
NUS can now go straight for the base, though, if they wish to, and not even worry about that sentry. Four seconds left before we get some more Icon in here. Both teams seeming to wait for that. And here we go. The hero for UW wants to get right past the hero for NUS and the University of Washington take round one. UW popping off a lot over one round right now. It's great, they're so excited. But you know, we, we all try to forget round zero, but if you're a UW pilot and you just lost a round, it is super important, right, to let that go and, and don't let that momentum stop you. Absolutely. They did an excellent job there, taking advantage of the fact that NUS was now playing with two bots. Um, yep. NUS has three minutes to try to get that sentry back online. I know we're all hoping for six bots, right? Yes. We say every year we want to see those robots perform at their best. UW having that performance absolutely very consistent. Uh, props to them, they were able to finish off this round quite easily, right? A team without a century has never been a problem for the University of Washington. Uh, Twitch chat asking about the RFID issue and, and how it's been fair for the other rounds. Here we go, round two in a best of three, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Keep an eye out at the NUS century. Their back's against the wall. They will be playing 2v3 again, it appears. Uh, well, maybe not, Preston. We did see that the center oh. takes a little bit to start getting going, but it is going. Go. It's starting to move. And here we go. It's moving in. It's not launching projectiles, and it's walking towards. It's not spinning either. It's just It's, it's just standing there. Two robots again. Not enough to take down the first two open. No, Red 4 for UW takes the kill. This better put all the other teams on notice. If you're going to fight UW in the end of this bracket, you've got to have all three robots. University of Washington, frankly, there's, there's not much else to say for this round. Yeah. They should just take the projectiles they have now and chunk it out. Yep. Uh, the base is exposed. It's a 3v2 competition. Uh, plus, they have a, a, a nine level lead, a seven level lead on their century from, or their standard from that kill. Yeah, there's just not a lot here that uh, NUS can do. I mean, I like, I'd like to see them bring it back. Yeah. I'd like to see them really try here, but you know, I, I don't know what, what is the option you got here. You know? As four minutes comes and passes, NUS actually would have been better off not fielding a century that round. Um, their base would have been shielded for longer. They would have given ever less XP. Uh, you know the team is yeah, assuming yeah. and hoping that it will work because it has worked just two rounds ago. Yep. Uh, but unfortunate situation here. Uh, I wonder for what NUS. changed, you know. But NUS coming in to do some damage. Uh, UW Sentry does defend itself though, so not able to get too much off. Really of good that performance sentry from that UW, UW Sentry, firing 140 projectiles in a matter of seconds. Really, really fast. Both of the UW bots pushing the base, able to sneak these hero shots right through the gap. Look at that window. Excellent driving. Amazing the shots. University of Washington will remain undefeated in the knockout stage. UW taking that two to zero, therefore moving on into grand finals, celebrating. Screaming right, and chanting 2-0. They did.